Hi everyone, my name is Dian Ketel Caridio and I am grade 12 STEM student and welcome to the video tutorial of mine. The topic that I chose is temperature and this discussion and topic is from the subject of general physics. So let's proceed. What is temperature? Temperature is a measurement of hotness or coldness expressed in terms of any of several arbitrary scales. This is what we feel every day. Init, lamig, at tinatawag natin yung temperature. At may device tayong ginagamit para madetermine natin ang temperature, which is the thermometer. So let's proceed. Celsius and Fahrenheit. The Celsius scale was invented by Anders Celsius on 1742. He was the founder of Swedish astronomy. And Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit scale. It was invented by German physicist Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit on the year of 1724. So let's proceed na matutunan natin ang formula for Celsius and Fahrenheit. Formula of Celsius, the formula for Celsius scale is degree Celsius is equals 5 over 9 degree, fa degree Fahrenheit. Degree Celsius is equals to 5 over 9 degree Fahrenheit minus 32. Or temperature Celsius is equals to 5 over 9 temperature Fahrenheit 32. Let us be reminded na kailangan ito ang formula ang dapat natin gamitin para makuha ang conversion ng Celsius. So, ang formula na ito ay gagamitin natin para makuha ang Celsius scale or yung conversion ng Celsius from or galing sa Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit to Celsius. So, let's proceed to the examples of Celsius. Example of Celsius. What is the Celsius equivalent of 201 degree Fahrenheit? So, Fahrenheit pa lang. Malalaman natin na kailangan makita or kailangan ang answer natin is Celsius. So, let's write the formula first. The next step is, let's copy the the division first the 5 over 9. And what is the given for our temperature Fahrenheit? 201 Fahrenheit, degree Fahrenheit minus 32. So let's proceed to the other step, to the next step. What we should do next is bawasan or i-minus natin siya to each other. Let's use our built-in calculator. <laughs> 201 minus 32 is equals to 169. And let's not forget the, fa the Fahrenheit scale. The next step is, let's copy the 5 over 9 first. And let's have a bigger open and close parentheses because we will having a multiplication. Spoiler. <laughs> what we should do next is, Lagyan natin ng over 1 here para multiply natin siya from numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator from numerator to numerator and from denominator to denominator. It's always been like that after we sum up temperature Fahrenheit to minus 32 we should have over 1 here para malaman natin ang next step. 
para malaman natin ang decimal point ng ng equation. Let's continue here. And let's use our built-in calculator again. 5 multiplied by 169 is equals to 845. Let's move it here. 845. And, and 9 multiplied by 1 is 9. This is the next step. And the final step is i-divide natin siya. 845 divided by 9 is equals to 93.88. And we don't have to write all of the all of these numbers because it will become complicated. So that's why we should round it off. 93.9. Is the final answer. And let's not forget the temperature scale. 93 Celsius. Next example is number two. Let's write the formula first. 5 over 9. I'm sorry, I mean temperature Fahrenheit minus 32. The next step is to copy the 5 over 9 first and let's let's find the temperature Fahrenheit. That is 107.3 Fahrenheit. Point 0.3 Fahrenheit. Minus 32. What we should do next is sum it up. Let's copy the 5 over 9 first. Then let's use our built in calculator 107.3 minus 32 is equal to 75.3. And the next step is we should put denominator 1 always after we get the sum of temperature Fahrenheit and 32. Continuation. Let's use the built-in calculator again. 5 multiplied by 75.3. 3 is equals to 376.5 over 9 multiplied by 1 is automatically 9. Now let's divide this to each other. Divide. 376.5 5 divided by 9 is equals to 41.8 Three, three. 41 it was 41.833 since it has so many decimal point decimal non-zero numbers we should round it off 41 <laughs> And let's not forget the temperature scale, which is Celsius. There you have it, the answer. Number three. Let's write the formula first. Let's read the question first. Convert the body temperature of 100.2 degree Fahrenheit Celsius. Now let's proceed to the next step. 
5 over 9 multiplied by our given temperature Fahrenheit is 100.2 100 Fahrenheit minus 32. After that, we should copy our ways to 5 over 9. And let's sum it up. 100.2 minus 32 is equals to 68.2. Now, the next step is we should put denominator 1 para malaman natin ang division ng ating solving the problem. The ating solution. Let's proceed to the next step. 5 multiplied by 68.2 is equals to 341. 341. And automatically, this is not the final answer yet. We should divide, I'm sorry, we should divide 341 over 9. 341 divided by 9 is equals to 37.888 and round it off. So we don't get complicated of getting an answer because it has so many ans so many decimal non-zero numbers. 37.9. And don't forget the that and don't forget the temperature scale afterwards. Get, after getting the answer, we should put always the temperature scale, which is Celsius. Now let's proceed to the next temperature scale, Fahrenheit. Formula for Fahrenheit scale is degree Fahrenheit is equal to nine over five multiplied by degree Celsius plus 32. Or temperature Fahrenheit is equal to nine over five Temperature scale plus 32. Ito po ang gagamitin nating formula para makuha ang ating Fahrenheit value from Celsius. Now, sa Fahrenheit scale, the process is temperature Celsius. Celsius from Celsius to temperature Fahrenheit. Celsius from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now let's proceed to the example of Fahrenheit. Example Fahrenheit. What is the Fahrenheit equivalent of 301 degrees Celsius? Let's write the formula first. Now the next step is we should bring down the nine over five first. When for temperature Celsius, which is 301 degrees Celsius. Let's put an open and close parenthesis for this one because we have to, because we have to multiply it afterwards. Let's focus on the progress and the steps first. Now, nine over five, let's bring it, bring it down again. And we will put this. Please be reminded that we should not multiply it first. This one, this one, 301 degrees Celsius plus 32. Let's not solve it first because we have a progress and process for that. 
Let's focus on this step first. 9 over 5, and we bring, we bring down 301 degrees Celsius. Now let's put 1 here. It's always been like that. Plus 32. 301 over 1. Let's put three let let's put over one here always para hindi tayo para hindi tayo mahirapan mag-solve ng ng denominator multiplied by denominator and numerator multiplied by numerator. Now the next step is we should use our built-in calculator again. 9 multiplied by 301. Pag muna natin itong galawin. 32. Pag muna natin galawin. At ito muna ang ating isosolve. 9, divide, multiply, 9, divide, 9 multiplied by 301 is equals to 2,709. Sorry. Over five multiplied by one is it not automatically? I'm sorry for the interruption. It's automatically five. Pag muna natin galawin ang 32 at ipag-divide muna natin ang 2,709 over 5. 2,709 multi 2,709 divided by 5 is equals to 541 point Plus 32. Dito na natin. In here, gagamitin na natin ang plus 32. Let's add this up. 541.8 plus 32. This equals to 573.8. Point eight, and let's not forget the temperature scale of Fahrenheit. Since it's from Celsius, we should convert it into Fahrenheit scale. And there you have it. The final answer is five hundred seventy-three point eight degree Fahrenheit. Let's proceed to the next example. Let's write the formula first. Now let's proceed to the next step. Let's bring down 9 over 5. And let's find the given of temperature Celsius, which is 17 Celsius. The question for this example is dry ice is 17 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature in Fahrenheit? Now let's proceed to the next step. 17 degrees Celsius plus 32. Please always be reminded na kailangan natin lagyan ng open and close parentheses kasi gagamitin natin siya for multiplication mamaya. After. Let's bring down 9 over 5 again. And let's put Denominator 1, it's always been like that. It can change. Plus 32. It's equals to, let's use our built-in calculator. 9 multiplied by 17 is equal to 153. And automatically, 5 
times 1 or multiply by 1 is 5 plus 32. Let's divide it. 153 divided by 5 is equals to 30.6 plus 32. Hindi natin nagamit si 32 kanina dito. Kaya ilalagay natin siya dito. Now, ipag-add natin dalawang to. Let's add this up. 30 30 30.6 plus 32 is equals to 62.6 and let's not forget the temperature scale, which is Fahrenheit. Now, let's proceed to the next example. Last example for Fahrenheit scale. Number three, the water freezes at 112 degrees Celsius. Convert it into Fahrenheit. Um, let's write the formula first for, the, for finding temperature Fahrenheit. Now... Let's proceed to the next step. Let's bring down 9 over 5. And let's find the degree Celsius or the temperature Celsius, which is 112 Celsius. Open and close parentheses again. Plus 32. The next step is let's bring it down. Bring it down. <laughs> All of it. And we will have a multiplication. And don't forget the over 1. Plus 32. Now the next step is we will multiply it from numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. 9 multiplied by 112 is equals to 1,008. 5. Oh, no. Let's not forget the plus 32 here because we haven't used it yet. Yes. Now, let's proceed to the next step, which is we will divide this 1,008 and Let's not use it first. Hayaan muna natin siya. One thousand eight divided by five is equals to two hundred one point six. Now, getting an getting an answer here is we should add this up. 201.6 plus 32 equals to 233.6. Don't forget the temperature scale here, which is Fahrenheit. We converted the Celsius scale of 112 into Fahrenheit scale, which is the which is the answer is 232.6 degree Fahrenheit. Now let's proceed to the next topic. Aside from Celsius and Fahrenheit scale, temperature is Kelvin and Rankine scale. Kelvin scale, also known as absolute scale. Ibig sabihin, walang negative here. It's always been positive. All of the answer must be positive. The Kelvin temperature scale was the brainchild of Belfast, born British inventor and scientist William Thomson, also known as Lord Kelvin. These two people invented Kelvin scale, which is the temperature scale is which is this temperature scale is commonly used in laboratories and in industries. While, while Rankine scale is the basic unit of the scale, the degree Rankine 
is 5 over 9 of the Kelvin. This temperature scale was invented by the Scottish engineer and physicist William John McCorn Rankin. In year 1859, he proposed it. Now let's proceed to learning the formulas of Kelvin and Rankin. Kelvin. The formula of Kelvin scale. Temperature Kelvin is equals to temperature Celsius plus 273. If the question is asking for converting temperature Celsius to temperature Kelvin, this is the formula that are best to do so. This is the formula that we should use. Yes, Celsius and Fahrenheit scales are also included in Kelvin and Rankine scales. It is normal for the equations to be like this. And it's because Celsius and Fahrenheit scales are basic units of temperature. So this one here represents if we convert the Kelvin into Celsius, it means we have to use this formula. Let's have an example to understand more. First example is sodium boils at 240 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature on the absolute scale? Did you remember what absolute scale is? It is Kelvin. Ang hinahanap natin ay Kelvin. At ang dapat nating i-convert into Kelvin scale is Celsius. Now, let's proceed. It's super easy, guys. All we have to do is... All we have to do is memorize the formula and also find the given for temperature Celsius, temperature Kelvin, temperature temperature Rankin, and temperature Fahrenheit in a given, in a certain question. Now let's proceed to the next step. Our given for temperature Celsius is 240. Let's solve it. 240 degrees Celsius plus 273. Is equals to, let's use our calculator, 240 plus 273 is equals to, is equals to 513. Now that temperature scale here ay mag-iiba. It will change into Kelvin because na-convert na natin siya from Celsius. 513 degree Kelvin. Is the final answer. Yun lang kadali, guys. Ipag-add lang natin tong dalaw. Then, we will get an answer. A common answer, actually. The freezing point of water of Kelvin is 273. And we should always remember that in Kelvin, the freezing point is 273. Another example for further understandings. Number two. What is negative 219 degrees Celsius in absolute scale? Let's write the formula first. Let's find the temperature Celsius. The given of it, it's negative 219 degrees Celsius. 273 negative 219 plus 200 negative 219 plus 273, we will get an answer of 54. Why is it positive 54 even though there's negative 219 on it? Because it had, because a higher number is 273 and a higher number ay ang dapat nating sundin na sign, whether it's negative or positive. 
And also, pag magkaiba ng sign, magbabawas yan. Tandaan natin. And kapag parehong negative naman, ay mag add up yan. Pero negative din ang sagot because both of the numbers are negative. And it has no positive sign. 54. 54 degree Kelvin. Since we converted it, since we converted it from Celsius, it will become it will become Kelvin. Temperature Kelvin. Degree Kelvin. The next example and last example for Kelvin. Mm. This one, this is what I'm saying earlier. Convert 268 degree Kelvin into Celsius. Now, what we should do is switch it up. Let's write the formula first. Kanina, temperature Kelvin, K ang nandito, it is equals to T, temperature Celsius, Tc. Temperature Celsius kanina dito. Ngayon, nagkabaligtad sila cause hinahanap ang cause hinahanap ang Celsius. Imbes na Kelvin ang hanapin, Celsius ang hahanapin ngayon. And it's sign here will turn into negative or minus. Now, let's proceed on finding the answer. The given for temperature Kelvin is 268 Celsius. 268 degree Kelvin minus 273. Let's use our calculator. 268, 268 minus 273 is equals to negative 5. That is the final answer. And let's not forget the temperature scale is Celsius, with Celsius because it has been converted from Kelvin. Why is it negative? It is because the higher number is negative, which is 273. Negative 273. And magbabawas siya because magkaiba sila ng sign. Now, we are finished in the example of Kelvin. Let's proceed to the Rankin. The formula for Rankin scale is temperature Rankin is equals to temperature Fahrenheit plus 460. Because the freezing point of water is 460 degree Rankin. It's always been like that. Or, Temperature Fahrenheit is equals to temperature Rankin minus 460. Which is kapag ang tanong ay hinahanap ay Fahrenheit from Rankin to Fahrenheit. Kapag hinahanap na temperature scale is Rankin to Fahrenheit, it means ito ang gagamitin nating formula. And if temperature is Rankin, ito ang ating gagamitin. Ito, temperature, itong temperature, itong temperature Rankin is equals to temperature Fahrenheit plus 460 formula is what we should use if we are converting Fahrenheit to Rankin. Let's proceed to the examples. Number one, Ethyl alcohol freezes at negative 399 degree Fahrenheit. What is this temperature on the Rankin scale? So let's write that formula first. Now, ang ating hinahanap is temperature Fahrenheit, which is negative 399 degree Fahrenheit. Negative 399 degree Fahrenheit plus... Let's use our calculator. Negative 399 Fahrenheit plus 460. It means it is equals to 61. 
degree ranking. Magiging degree ranking siya because we converted it from because we converted it from degree far and high. And since these two, negative 399 plus 460, are different signs and the higher number of the higher number is 460, we should copy their sign, which is positive. And magbabawas siya because they are different signs. Example number two. Now let's proceed to example number two. Convert negative 651 degree Fahrenheit to ranking scale. Let's write the formula first. Now, ang inahanap dito is ranking. Ang inahanap dito sa example na to is ranking. So, dapat i-convert natin itong itong given na 600 like itong given na 651 degree Fahrenheit into ranking scale. So, let's proceed. 651, I mean, negative 651 degree Fahrenheit plus 460 is equals to, let's use our calculator, 651, negative 651 plus 460. And since higher, and since mas higher si negative 651, siya ang susundan natin ng sign, which is negative. Negative, negative 191. 191. Okay, let's refresh it because it looks weird. Yeah. 191 degree Rankin. Now let's proceed to the next and last example of ranking. Number three, water boils at negative 372 degree ranking. What is the temperature for the Fahrenheit? So ito na guys, hinahanap na dito yung Fahrenheit imbes na ranking. So ang formula natin is, pakitandaan po ang ranking scale is 460 and sa Kelvin kanina is 273. So, yun. Hanapin natin ang value, which is ito. Negative 372 degree ranking minus 460. Isasam isa lang natin siya, guys. Calculator. <laughs> 372 I mean, negative 372 minus 460. Since pareho silang negative sign, ay magiging, ay mag add up yan and magiging negative sign ang sagot. Negative 372 minus 460 is equals to, it's equals to negative 832. And it is Fahrenheit degree. Since the question is asking that convert from temperature ranking to temperature Fahrenheit, mag-iiba siya. Magiging minus 460. And mag-iiba to. Kumbaga kanina, kung, kumbaga kanina sa so first and second example natin, ang ang equation is temperature ranking is equals to temperature Fahrenheit plus 460 kasi ang inahanap doon is convert from degree Fahrenheit to degree ranking or ranking scale. Ito, itong third example natin is magiging minus, minus or negative 460 kasi ang inahanap ngayon dito ay yung Fahrenheit equivalent. Convert from degree ranking to Fahrenheit scale. So we're all done.
to the discussion of temperature. So we are finished with our discussion for today. And I hope you learned our lesson for today. And a quick reminder, temperature consists four scales, Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin, and Rankin. The temperature scales for Celsius and Fahrenheit are commonly used for our daily life. And the temperature scales for Kelvin and Rankin is commonly used in industries. That's all for today's video and I hope you learned and understand my explanation of this topic from the subject of general physics. Thank you very much for watching and God bless us all.